Hey everybody, hope you had a wonderful new year. So let's start it with a brand new tutorial for the mini skirt from Retro Sparkle Design. So go ahead, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so YouTube notifies you of any new videos. And then go ahead and follow us on social media. All right, let's get started. Here's the pattern and it's three pieces, super simple. You need a waistband cut on a fold. You need the front piece cut on a fold and you need the back piece cut on a fold. I'm gonna be using double brush poly fabric from uh, Fab Fabrics Fabulous, I think it's what it's called. Um, it's a really awesome place. But So there's my pieces, my back, my front and my waistband. I'm gonna do the hot hand method here. So it's already cut on a fold and then I'm folding it one more time. And then you would just sew or serge the raw edge here where all the pieces are. So that's that raw edge. And then we are going to um, put the front and back right sides together here. And the back is going to be slightly higher rised in the back, um, the back top. So the bottom's gonna be straight across and the top is gonna be a little bit higher in the back than the front. So that's how you know. So you put these right sides together, super simple. This is a really quick sew, by the way, and it's super cute. So we're gonna do the side seams here. You can sew, you can um, zigzag stitch, any stretch stitch on a sewing machine will work. I like to use my serger, so I'm gonna do that really fast. Just sew down those side seams and prepare that cuff, waistband, cuff, whatever you wanna call it. This is also where I would add like a side seam tag if you wanna do that. Um, but I'm not gonna add it to this in particular. But I really did like the black and white um, that Love Capri did for the thumbnail photo, if you've seen it. That's a, a really cool shop. I loved her photo and I asked for permission for her to, um, to use the photo for the thumbnail and I absolutely loved it. So I just decided to kind of use it for inspiration and use this beautiful fabric, black and white fabric, to kind of, you know, create the same feel. But yeah, go give her a follow. I'll link her group below. Really cute clothes. All right, and I'm just preparing this waistband cuff. I'm quartering it. So I just make four equal points and I'm using one of those points as my seam. So I'm just making three additional points. So front, back, side, side. And it's just gonna help me add this to the actual skirt right here. And so I'm going to quarter up the front and back on the skirt which I'm just gonna find the middle and the, the middle front and back. I'm just gonna make a tiny little snip. Don't do, snip it too much because you can um, make a hole in your seam when you add this waistband. All right, and so remember what I said, the back is slightly higher than the front. So you're gonna want to add this waistband. And I like to put it inside the inside out skirt. All right. And so if you were using like directional fabric that needed to be right side up, when you put the fabric like this, you want the print to also be right side up. So like where, where my fingers are, you want to be looking at the print, clipping it with it right side up on the inside of the garment. Um, so if your print is right side up when you're clipping it like this, if you're looking at the waistband and the waistband print is right side up, it's going to be perfect. That's, how, that's the best way to do it. Um, to make sure that it's the directional prints correct on waistbands. <laughs> all right, so then you're just going to serge this in a circle here. And then just make sure your raw edges are all matched up as you go around. I like to match up each point and then sew to the next point. And then I like to add my tag in the middle back, which is where I also put the back seam. And I'll just put it underneath there like that. And then surge around and tuck my tail with my handy dandy knit picker. <laughs> and then all you have to do is cover stitch it to hem it, or you can just hem it with a sewing machine. You can blind hem it. Um, I am also doing some top stitching on the waistband. I just kind of wanted to do that to let that lay down and not be so wonky. Um, totally optional you don't have to do this step um, but you do you will need to hem it you could leave it raw edged if you wanted to tuck the tails on the sides um, but just to make it more complete and professional looking more polished looking um, I definitely recommend hemming it I've, I've taken to hemming things a lot more especially with a cover stitch so that's what that inside looks like um, and then you will just hem it and I do believe I did like a quarter inch. 
I just kind of eyeball it. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on the cover stitch, um, go check out one of the videos that we have on that. Um, to see more of our videos, you can actually go to our um, homepage or our video channel page and click videos and scroll down. So you'll see all of our videos that way. But this is what it looks like. Super quick, super easy, um, very fast sew and it's super cute on. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and um, I'll see you again very soon for another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.